<laughs> yeah, and welcome back to the off -grid Garage Part 2. Repair of the CKE Tech battery tester electronic load. The LM7812 voltage regulator has arrived. We are going to replace it today and see what's going to happen. I just hope it is only the regulator and nothing else afterwards. Okay, let's do it. And before we put the voltage regulator back into the tester, um, I want to check if the regulator works actually. I want to connect the power supply to the regulator and see if it works. So we've got input on this leg, we've got ground on this one in the middle, and I've got 13 volts applied to the voltage regulator now. It's probably a bit low. Okay, I'll go higher. I'll go to 20.6 we have. And now we are measure again ground in the middle and the output on this side and we should have pretty much 12 volts. There we go. 1202 it has. And regardless what kind of input, if I lower the voltage now from 20.6 to like like 16, we still should see the same output voltage here of 12.02. I think you can go up to 35 volts of input voltage for these ones and they're still outputting 12 volt. So this is all good. So, and this one is the faulty one. Uh, there's some goop on the back here, which I will just transfer on the other one. And now I could have used some of the, my computer heat crease cream, whatever it's called. Okay, so that's it. Now we have to find the spot where it goes. So it goes in these three pins here. But first I need to unsolder them a little bit here so we can actually see the hole. No, this wasn't hot enough. There we go. No. Is there nothing better on the market these days? Like electronic, like a vacuum pump or so? It's not hot enough, I think. The PCB is two layers. So I think it needs a bit more heat. No. Doesn't want to come. All right. If we get two out of three, that's good. It's good enough. Jeez, come on. Ah, here we go. Nice one. Nice shot. Okay, let's try the middle one again. Adding some solder first. This one doesn't want to play here. Nah. Nah, it's not coming. Okay. That's all right. So we can try from the other side. Let's see if it works from there. Oh no, it somehow is clocked. No, he's almost there, you know. Okay. Okay, now I need to heat up the. Wow, why is it not... Hey, what a bastard here. No, it's not gonna work. It is not going to work. I cannot... Hang on, I need... There's another piece of solder. Man, there's more solder in there. As I have on my reel here. 
Look at this shit. The other two are just fine. Get some support here. Hang on. It's not coming out. Okay, let's try again to poke this through. I bet I get a thousand comments now underneath. You should have tried that. I don't know why it is stuck. I don't know. Come on. Ah, oh, now it's through. It's a bit too far. Yeah, that's good. All right. Oh, wow. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's get this one solid. And the other side. And then we do the middle one. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, the other one was bended forward because there's the other PCB on top of it here. So I hope I can still... Yep. I can just bend it to be flat like this. Yep. A little bit back. Yep, that's how it was. Okay, there's our voltage regulator. Um, potentially I should connect the um, 19 volt here now and then we can measure again if it all works correctly. But I need to connect all the other PCBs here as well for that. So I'm not sure if I can still reach that. Ah, oh, yeah, from the underside. We, we can, we can. Look at these massive shunts here, huh? Wow. Okay, Houston, we've got a little problem here on the Apollo 11 mission. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if these are correctly connected here because they would fit the other way around as well. So this is the fan over there and this is our green and red from the, from the probe connectors here. So I would assume because there is a diode on the PCB on this side. This is for the polarity, right? If I would connect my battery the other way around, this diode here is in short and protects potentially the PCB then. Because I don't need the diode for the fan, right? There's no... So from this perspective it would make sense if it is just like this, right? Um, well, to be 100% sure, I need to go inside and have a look at the videos I did before when I took it apart. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I just watched the footage when I took it apart and tested it the first time and it doesn't show. The first video I have of this one, both of these connectors were already off. So I don't know in which... So these are our probes, positive and negative, and this is our fan. But they are using the same connector. And I don't know if it's like this or the other way around, but this diode here is in block direction, positive, negative, and there's the black ring, so it blocks. Why would you have a diode on the motor? On the fan, right? It would be rather here on the input. I think this makes sense. There is negative. Hang on. Ah, no, it's the other way around. Thank you for commenting about this. There is negative positive, and this is red and black. And this one is positive and negative, so it's the other way around than here. And the green one actually goes to the negative. So here we would connect negative to the positive. So it's definitely the other way around. Thanks for helping out and leaving all these nice, beautiful comments. 100% <laughs> sure it needs to be this way. I don't know what the diode is for of the fan here. Maybe someone knows. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here it comes. Here's our top. PCB. We've got these connectors which going into there and then we've got these four going on this side. 
and they all need to be lined up correctly here. Oh shit, there's another... This one goes in there. Um, this way around and then we've got these connectors here going into this port. Well, that's an easy one. But this one is tricky and then I don't have access to the PCB anymore. Ah, what a shitty design! Yeah, all these ones need to go in there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm using now. 19 volts, 19 volts, 6.32 amps. That's what I'm using. The old one had only 4.8 amps, but this one could charge with 5 amps. It was always on 100% load, you know. This one has a bit of reserve here. Okay, before we are going to connect this one, negative on the outside and positive in here. We should see 19.5 volts, that's fine. That's cool, all right. Okay, I plug it in now. Nice. So, and now we need to we need to connect these two here together. This is usually the on-off switch on the back. And then... Um, and now we need a crocodile clamp, which um, volunteers for the time. And hopefully once we connect them together now, we will see the display coming on. I'll just try for a second. Oh, it, it's coming on, but there's a lot of power on it. And could you see the spark? Is that normal? Capacitors? Should we try again? Yes, it's running! It's running! Huh? What does it say? 21.9 volts. It, it shows some, something already on the... Hang on, let me clip this on here. Okay. So we can have a look together. Ah, uh, what is going on here? That's not good. That is not good. Hang on, hang on, I'll zoom you in. We already have a voltage here of 16.7 volts, but there's nothing. Again, I would say something is pulling power here. Why is it showing 17 volts already? What the hell? What's going on? 20 amps? What? Where is it pulling 20 amps from? Something is not right. I turn it off. Yeah, this second layer PCB here gets really warm. Or maybe something underneath which gets warm? No. I think there's more damage than we actually thought at the beginning. Okay, these are only our buttons. We can take them off for a moment. I just want to measure here the... our voltage regulator. Look at the sparks! There should be, should be no sparks, right? It's pulling amps straight away. Let's measure if there's anything. Now 300 mil I can measure here. Look at this. That's just the on-off switch. Okay, let's see what we have. Can you see it here yeah, like this? It's okay. Okay, that's the... That's the... Input. Hang on, hang on. Yep, 19.4 input. And we have 12.03 output. So the voltage regulator works, but there's something else going on which is not correct. Well, I don't know what it could be. Oh, there's one which is really hot. This one here, the second one. Ah, uh, 80 degrees, yes. That's why. 84. Oh, shh. Okay, so I think this PCB here is broken as well. It's not going to work. Yeah, and this is what I can smell. This is not good. There's more damage than we thought. The voltage regulator was just the beginning. Okay, I need to contact CKE Tech and ask them to send me a new board. I probably sent them a screenshot here. Say, look, 100 degrees. 
Maybe there is a combination of buttons you have to press when you turn it on and then it goes into like a um, self-diagnostic whatever situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's nothing happening when I plug this in, but when I connect the the two pins here again, there should be no spark, really. See, it measures a voltage already, and it shows 21 amps. Maybe you have to press all the four buttons together to reset it. Mm, maybe not, huh? Um, what we can try is actually connect the two probes, and we just short them. And see what's happening then. Nothing. Oh, it shows zero again now. Zero volts. But still it shows 21 amps. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, disconnect here again. For a moment. Oh, and then connect again. Now again, 13 volts. Eh. Okay, connect the negative probe. Then it goes to zero straight away. Look at this. Zero. Okay, let's connect them together here. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Look at this. Eh. It's a short. There's a short somewhere. Something is not working correctly. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. I really don't want to throw it away, you know? I'm not the guy who is throwing things away usually. But why does it show 21 amps? Are there actually amps flowing or not? No, there's nothing flowing. It's cold. The heatsink is cold. Definitely nothing flowing at all. It is just this board here with the IC on top of it, which gets really warm. Okay, I'll contact their support. They've got an email address in the manual and see what they are saying. I probably show them the video here as well. I guess there will be there will be a part three of our mini series here: how to not repair the CKE Tech uh, battery test electronic load EBC A20. It was not just the voltage regulator. There's more. Ah, uh, that is disappointing. I really want this one to work again. <sighs> That's not good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching anyways, let me know, <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me really, <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> you know how to fix this? Alright, <laughs> thanks for all your support, <laughs> see you in the next video, bye bye. <laughs> this helps always. <laughs>